In with the latest in the coronavirus pandemic, good afternoon. I'm Cindy Shu and for Mary. And I'm Chris Raggi now on CBS2 and streaming on CBSN New York. The number of new coronavirus cases is now rising across the tri-state area. On Tuesday, the city reported 2,050 new cases. New York State reports more than 8,200 new cases. That's up from 3,400 a month ago. A similar increase in New Jersey, where more than 4,100 new cases are reported compared to 3,200 last month. And in Connecticut, cases nearly doubled in the last month, with more than 1,900 new cases reported yesterday. Now, this comes as a preliminary study from Pfizer suggests that its booster vaccine may be protective. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us what this new study means. First and most important to remember is that these are preliminary studies, meaning they have yet to be fully evaluated by outside scientists. Equally important is that these were laboratory studies, meaning that Pfizer measured antibodies in test tubes from people after a booster shot and compared that to antibody levels that have been shown to be protective in real world vaccinated people. That said, the laboratory data indicate that a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine increases neutralizing antibodies by 25 times compared to two doses against the Omicron variant. But that two doses still help fight the virus. Pfizer also said that it continues to develop a specific vaccine against this Omicron variant and expects to have it available by March. Until then, these early data are yet another reason to get a booster shot now. And because the Moderna vaccine and booster is almost identical in makeup to the Pfizer booster, it is believed Moderna will offer a similar level of protection. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.